Piers Morgan admitted his wife Celia Walden has reached tipping point while waiting on her husband as he battles COVID. Piers Morgan, 56, revealed his wife of 11 years Celia Walden, 45, is at tipping point after having to wait on him hand and foot while he isolates due to becoming one of the latest confirmed cases of coronavirus. It comes after the former Good Morning Britain presenter admitted that he believes he caught the Delta variant after attending Wembley Stadium with his three sons for the Euro 2020 final. All attendees had to provide proof that they were either double vaccinated or produce a negative test result but Piers spoke about the true extent of his symptoms in his latest Daily Mail column. He penned, as I'm sure everyone who gets it feels, it's a strange, disquieting moment to know I have this killer virus inside me. While quarantining alone in his bedroom while he recovers from the virus that has made him feel the roughest I've felt from any illness in my adult life, he become dependent on Celia bringing him everything, including using a mini motorized toy car to send him muffins from a safe distance. But while Shush has been caring for his every need over the past few weeks, Piers admitting, Celia's admirable patience for facilitating my endless requests for everything from meals and pots of tea to a fan and mini fridge is reaching a tipping point, he sighed before repeating her words. I knew that when I married someone so much older than me, it'd end up being their carer, she announced today. I just hoped it wouldn't happen quite so soon. He added, to allay her irritation, I now start each request with, if I get you a nice dress on eBay, could I possibly have? Self-isolation is a lot easier for the person doing it than the people who then have to do all the work. But it hasnt been all bad. Piers admitted HES started doing things around the house, well, room, that he wouldn't usually do such as making his own bed, which he found oddly therapeutic. I lay proudly in my fresh sheets this morning, albeit still feeling wiped out and totally devoid of energy. I tried shouting, man up, Morgan, to myself but COVID seems oblivious to my preferred motivational clarion cry, he continued. The broadcaster, who received the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccination, claims a respiratory expert informed him that no vaccine fully protects an individual from the latest variants. His symptoms included a fever, cold sweats, coughing, sneezing, strange aches and alarming chest pains. But he was left even more distraught after his sense of taste and smell left him, texting his former co-star Susanna Reid I can't taste wine. This, for anyone who knows my love of good wine, is one of my worst nightmares, Piers moaned. Susanna instantly realized the enormity of the crisis, describing it as a disaster. Piers recalled she added, but it's for your own good, you'll save a fortune, drop half a stone and now you can come out on a night of sparkling waters with me.